Now we will learn how to create a 3D assembly model of hexagonal headed bolt and nut with a washer. After assembly we will generate the front view, top view, left side view and isometric shaded view. So as soon as an assembly or a part drawing is given, you need to go to the part list first. Understand the number of parts, quantity of parts and try to correlate the dimensions. So first part is hexagonal headed bolt. As you can see here one here, this is hexagonal headed bolt. The second part is hexagonal nut. So this is hexagonal nut. The third one is the washer. This is the washer. So you can correlate the dimensions. You can see the diameters, you can see the length and you can correlate it. And you can see here the hexagonal head. They are given each side is having 24 mm. And the head thickness is 19.2 mm. And the 60 degree what you are seeing is called a chamfer. In order to insert the tools to or tighten it or to loosen it, we need to have this chamfer on one end of the head. Similarly, there is one more chamfer at the other end to insert the nut easily. We need to create this 45 degree chamfer which is having a width of 2.4. The nominal diameter of the bolt is 24 mm and the length of the bolt is 150 mm. Thread length is 60 mm. The head thickness is 19.2 mm. So that is how you need to read the part drawing. Okay, this is the front view, this is the side view. Here. Similarly, you can read the front view side view of the nut as well as the washer. Now we will try to create this in SOLIDWORKS. So once after opening the SOLIDWORKS, this is the home screen which you get. Click on new, you will get three environments. Select part and click OK. So once you are in uh, inside the part environment, you can see the tree and you can see the various tabs and you can see the menu bar also. So menu bar will be done if you just place your cursor on that arrow mark all the menu bar items will appear now let us uh, go back and let us try to see the side view you can see your side view they have given 24 mm is a side for hexagon we will let us try to draw this and using this we will try to generate the head thickness because in front view i cannot see the hexagon right only in side view i can see the true length of the side 24 all six sides can be seen Whereas in front view I can't see the side, so I will select right plane as my sketch plane and I will try to draw that. Okay, select the right plane, click on sketch, go to polygon, number of sides is 6, center, okay, draw an approximate hexagon. Uh, after that, select the side, make it vertical. As you could see in the side view, the side view, it is vertical, right? We have made it vertical. So we will try to dimension that side. 24 mm okay after that what i will do is i will draw a nominal diameter of 24 mm so draw a circle dimension it circle as 24 mm now you exit the sketch plane right now we have come out of the sketch environment we will try to convert this 2d into 3d okay as you could see in this so the head is around 19.2 mm the the bolt Length is 150 mm. Mm -hmm. Select the sketch and go to features. We have an called, option called extruded boss. Click on it. Now you could see, so default selection has happened. You can use your scroll button to rotate. Just hold the scroll button and you can tilt the component. Okay. Now I don't want an hollow option here. So for that I can go to selected contours and I can add both. Right. I can add both and I can give the head thickness as 19.2 mm, okay, 19.2 mm, 19.2 mm, sir you never gave mm, you can see at the bottom my units, its default has been selected as mmgs, and millimeter for length, gram for weight, time for second, okay, so now I'll say okay, once after this you could see we have created an hexagonal head. Now we will try to create the length of the bolt. How do I create? You can go back to that extrude boss, use that arrow mark, select the same sketch we have, which we have done earlier. Now you can go to extruded boss base. Now what I will do is, I will select only the center of the circle, that is the center portion and the overall length distance I will give. What is that overall length distance? 19.2 plus 150 is the overall length its overall length from this end to this click ok click ok so i have created hexagonal edit bolt ok without thread without chamfer 
Now let us try to view the front view, how it appears. So control 1 is a shortcut. You can get the front view easily. This is how it will appear. Control 5 is the top view. Control 7 is isometric view. Okay, this is how it appears. Now let us apply thread on this length of the bolt. How do I apply? Go to insert, annotations, cosmetic thread, cosmetic thread. Select only that outer circle. It will say M24. It will say up to next. Select line and give the thread length. Thread length is 60 mm. Thread length is 60 mm. Click OK. As soon as you do that, you can see that there are two circles here. One is outer circle, which is already existing, and new one, which is created as cosmetic thread. Right? Now, what I will do is I will try to view it. So the default option is off. So I'll go to options, document properties, detailing. I'll switch on this shaded cosmetic threads. I'll say OK. Once you do that, visually you can see it on screen how much thread has applied because I had given a length of 60 mm. The overall length of the bolt is 150 plus 19.2. So it will take up to this actually if we don't give a blind. OK, so it has applied only for 60 mm. Clear. So next part is we will try to give the chamfer to this. OK, how do I give the chamfer, sir? How do I give the chamfer? Very easy. Select this face and say sketch. Select the face and say sketch. Go to circle. Draw a circle which is tangent to this side. Just draw a circle which is tangent to the side. Exit sketch. So we have created a sketch and we will try to remove this material which is present all around. Okay. How do I remove it? You should go to extrude cut. Select the sketch which we have drawn that is a circle. Go to extrude cut. Here, give the head thickness. The head thickness is 19.2 mm. 19.2 mm. Next, I cannot cut as it is. If I cut as it is, I'll get a cylinder, hollow cylinder here, but it should not be, right? I should give a draft angle. Draft angle means the chamfer angle, 60 degree. 50 degree, flip side to cut. You can see, I don't want the material which is inside to be removed. I want outside material to be removed. You can see it will remove the material by an angle of 60 degree. Now if you click OK, you can see the chamfer which is created all around the surface. Okay, this is how you can create the chamfer. Now there should be there is one more chamfer on the thread end. You can go to fillet. Inside fillet we have a chamfer. Click on it. Now in the question they are given it is should be 2.4 mm. So type 2.4 and select this outer edge of the circle. Now you can see the preview. Click OK. So once you click OK, now you can see how it is created. That is chamfer has been done. So this is the front view. This is the isometric view. This is the top view. So this is how external headed bolt is created. Now save the file. Now save the file, give the file name as hexagonal headed bolt. Give the file name as hexagonal headed bolt and click on save. This part is completed now. I'll close this part. I should create the next part. So as usual, go to new, double click on part, select the right plane, click on sketch. Now you go to polygon. Now we will create a polygon here. As we did earlier, same thing. Select one of the sides, make it vertical. Go to smart dimension, dimension this 24 mm. Exit sketch. The nut thickness they are given as 21.6 mm. Extrude it for 21.6 mm. Click OK. Click OK. One end of the nut should be chamfered. So right click on the face, sketch, go to circle, draw a circle, which is tangent. Okay. Exit sketch, select the sketch, go to extrude cut, give the draft angle a 60 degree, flip side to cut, click OK. Okay, I create. Now what I will do is I will use another option called whole wizard to create an internal thread of M24. Go to whole wizard, select straight tap, select 
M24 M24 it is through all through all okay through all go to position select this face select the center click ok once you do that so the thread will be automatically applied as well as there is a hole which will be created how to visualize this as usual go to options document properties detailing shaded cosmetic threads click ok now you could see that internal threads are applied as well as chamfering is done now let us save this file go to file save hexagonal nut click ok ok now we will create a washer close it go to file new part you can select front plane or right plane not a problem so extrude directly i'll select i'll draw two circles okay go to smart dimension dimension this as 52 and dimension this as 25 okay exit sketch so the washer thickness is 3.67 click ok here so let us save this part also click on washer okay so we have created three parts now let us do the assembly so go to new now don't select part select assembly click ok as soon as you do that it will ask which files you want to import first import this file that is hexagonal edit board click on open now it will be fixed okay now you can visualize this this is the front view this is the top view this is isometric okay now let us try to assemble the bolt as well as nut here we don't have any metallic objects to confine with so the nut and the washer is free within this threaded region means the thread within the thread region the washer and nut can move so what i'll do is i'll go to insert component i can import uh, the nut open replace it as well as i'll say insert component washer open i'll insert it here now what i will do is i will mate this component how do i mate means i should assemble these two so for that we have an option called mate click on mate mate selection select this cylinder and select this cylinder click ok means we are confining the motion of the washer you can see it cannot move up and down it can only move to and fro it can move inside this also the solid works will never detect whether it is a collision or not until unless you define we have an option for collision detection so default it won't take the collision detection okay let us confine this here the similar way let us try to give mates for the nut also let us apply this mate click ok now this can move in and out it can rotate also okay so let us confine this face also i can make this face and this face parallel to each other click ok now what happens is it can in in and move in and out but it cannot rotate right why do you want us to get the views correctly we will try to make it parallel face now I have mated the faces of the washer and the nut. So both can move in and out. Both can move in and out. Okay. If you want to have a confined motion, you can always give that motion. What is that? The distance between this face and this face, if you want to give, you can always give. How do I give, sir? Select this and select this. You can give the distance. You can give the distance. You can see right now it's showing one odd. 5 so you can give 110 one, whatever you want you can just give the distance that distance will be applied okay, right now i don't want to give any distance let me keep it as a free thing not a problem so i have kept it exactly within the thread region don't keep it somewhere here it's wrong why right? because the nut can move because there is a run out here means there is no thread right so without thread the net cannot move inside the bolt that is the reason so now save this file as an assembly file so give it as hexagonal headed bolt and nut assembly okay we have saved this assembly now let us generate the views go to new 
you could see the way in which the environments have been arranged or modes have been arranged part mode assembly mode drawing mode initially we went to part we created parts then we went to assembly we have built now let us go to drawing and let us generate it so let us select drawing sheet a4 display sheet format of let me make it landscape 297 tab 210 click ok click ok right click on sheet 1 go to properties select first angle so in orthographic projection they have taught you what is the first angle projection third angle projection since we are calling first angle select first angle say apply changes now either you can go to view palette and you can browse the file or you can go to drawing go to model view anything is fine so i'll go to this three dots i'll select the assembly file don't select the part file so how do we know whether it is assembly or part file you can see assembly document part document select assembly document click open all the views will be generated so in the question they have asked us to generate front view top view and left side view so let us generate the front view first so i'll drag and i'll drop the front view this is the top view this is the side view and the isometric view okay isometric view so once after generating all the views select model items there select cosmetic thread click on this front view side view click okay yes so you can see uh, the threads which have been applied the cosmetic threads will be available now let us try to increase the scale little bit so say okay so select this custom scale click on this is much better similarly select this so always scale should be decided based on the space availability right and this view they have asked in sa uh, in the question left side view means right profile plane so on right profile plane we are getting this so which is correct select this make, make it to shade it with edges okay now you could actually see the object so save this file as hexagonal headed bolt and nut assembly drawing file so go to smart dimension dimension see it is showing 19.20 from here till the end which will be 150 mm so 0.00 you can always remove go to options right we have document properties dimensions here we have trailing zeros remove the trailing zeros click okay so now you can see that 0.00 has been removed similarly so you could see the thread length which is 60 mm you applied so if you want to check the nominal diameter from here till here it is 24 mm so dimension now the required entities so if you want to check the diameter of the washer so 52 mm make use of all the views to dimension mm, similarly nut thickness from here till here so it is 21.6 nut thickness similarly the washer thickness which is around 3.6 mm so if we have multiple uh, things so be careful that there is a clarity between both the dimensions okay so one can be inside the other can be outside like this hmm? so that you can clearly see it next thing is if you want to measure the hexagonal side you can click on this say 24 mm which is given right so this completes uh, this problem so thank you for listening